Good morning. Uh, today what we're going to do is do an oil change on the 1961 Bonanza N35, uh, the Continental IO470 260 horsepower motor on this V-tail Bonanza. Um, as you can already see, we've already uh, started to drain our engine oil. Um, and you can see that right here. We've got a quick drain valve. Um, you just turn it, lock it in place, the oil comes out. Um, eliminates the uh, need to take a, uh, a drain plug out of the bottom of the motor. Um, so it's very simple. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how easy it actually really is. Um, little things that an owner of an aircraft can do himself to save a little money uh, instead of having to take it to your A&P. Uh, and I think every aircraft owner should at least know how to do it. But once we let the uh, oil drain uh, and it's all done, uh, we'll go ahead and change our oil filter after that. See, I've got my new one here. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll let this oil keep draining. It is, uh, the engine is cool. I didn't run it, so it will take a little time. Uh, and then once, uh, once that's done, uh, we'll do the oil filter. Uh, but I'll go ahead and pause the video for right now. And uh, when the oil is done draining, uh, we'll come back. See you in a minute. Well, we're back and still draining a little oil. There's still a little bit more left. Uh, so what we go ahead to start to do is uh, actually gonna take, we're starting to take our safety wire off of our uh, oil filter. And the safety wire, if anyone doesn't know what that does, uh, that just uh, is an extra added insurance that the uh, oil filter won't spin itself loose uh, in flight and it's secure. So most everything on the airplane that, that bolts up, uh, you know, uh, tends to be safety wired. Uh, and you can see on the starter here, safety wires on the bolts. So uh, that way they won't back, back off and come loose. So what we've done is just taken this loose here and we'll just kind of pull this out of that hole. like that and in just a second I'll go ahead and spin that off uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give it just a little bit more time to drain and uh, we'll be back shortly hey back again okay uh, as you can see the oil filter is gone come down here here's the old oil filter and I have uh, inspected it uh, visually didn't find any uh, trash or metal or anything like that uh, and I'll cut the oil filter open uh, here after a while and just make sure we don't have any uh, metal from the inside of the motor or anything like that. Uh, that's just something that you do on a uh, routine basis every time you change an oil. Uh, that way we can uh, gauge the life of our engine. And I have went ahead and closed the quick drain valve, as you can see in there. And the oil has stopped draining. Our new oil filter. I've recorded the date, the tack time. I've got our tail number and the type of oil and how many quarts we'll be in, uh, putting inside there. And here in just a few minutes, I will uh, install the oil filter and we'll put engine oil in it. So I'll we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, uh, I've already started uh, tightening up the oil filter here. It just spins on just like a normal oil filter would on a vehicle or something. Uh, we'll get that hand tight. And that's hand tight there. And what we'll use is a uh, uh, oil filter uh, torque wrench. And this is made by Tempest, the same manufacturer that manufactures our uh, oil filters. And what this will allow us to do is tighten the oil filter to a uh, certain torque setting without over tightening it. So that way we can take it off uh, when we do change it. So it won't be over tightened. What we'll do is we'll start to tighten it up until the handle breaks over and clicks. Right there. Now it's tight. 
we will uh, go ahead and safety wire that back on, uh, put oil in it, and uh, see you in a few seconds. Back again. Okay, y'all. Um, engine oil filter is installed. I have safety wired it. You can see that there. And we're adding oil right now. As you can see, here, we put 10 quarts of oil in. And we've got one more to go. Here's the other. And that's it. There's really nothing else to it except uh, once we're done adding oil, we're going to pull the plane out. We'll run the engine, uh, shut it down, check for any leaks. We'll check the level on our dipstick, make sure the engine oil is uh, uh, it's full of oil, and, and that's it. Um, that's an oil change. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, look for some more videos here in the future uh, on other uh, tips on uh, aircraft, little maintenance and things that you as an owner uh, can do to uh, uh, help maybe offset some cost and get yourself familiar with, uh, with your own airplane. Take care, have a great day.